This game is ridiculous though, which I do love. Look at this, new graphics, new Nancy. In this game, she's 70 instead of 65. New. Amateur sleuth, of course. <laughs> Nancy Drew, our agency has been monitoring your progress for some time now, and we are quite impressed with your accomplishments. I'll get to the point. Certain events have forced our organization to reopen a case that has gone unsolved for the last eight years. Although impressive, your fieldwork experience is only part of the reason we're requesting your help. Simply put, Miss Drew, we're asking for your help not because of what you can do, but because of who you are. Nepo, baby! Eight years ago, Kate Drew died in a single automobile crash in the outskirts of Glasgow. This official version of your mother- this official version of your mother's death is, as you may have suspected, not the entire story. Her death was not an accident. Kate Drew didn't- <laughs> Kate Drew didn't unalive herself. We have strong evidence that Kate was killed by the very group she was investigating. We need your help. We've included a plane ticket and have a room ready for you at Glaucus Lodge. You will be briefed upon arrival. There, there is no time to spare. The future of Glasgow may rest in your hands. Office of International Affairs, MI5. Oh, Duchess Daffodil killed her. All right, mystery solved. Save us the trip. <laughs> Kate's serving. She's got tiny little arms and a big old noggin. Kate Drew said... It's like we're one in the same. I look just like her. Mom? <laughs> Wait, I was reading a letter about Kate Drew. Mother? My mom's Kate Drew. <laughs> Here goes the budget. Shuffle out of there, Kate. Drew residence, Kate speaking. You know this line isn't secure. Moira, stop. I'll call you. Yes, that is Lonnie Manella, just doing a slightly deeper voice. Yeah, Madison, we beat the other one really fast. Hang on, wait. Um... I kind of want to turn locked. up. It's locked. It's locked. Kind of want to turn up the voice a little bit. Oh, Madison, you'll have to, <laughs> you'll have to see. We had quite the lore dump that you missed. She almost sounds younger doing the, <laughs> the deeper voice. I mean, it's kind of an impossible task. She just can't sound like a seventeen-year-old. Wow. This is where mom was in the picture. Okay, now what? Well, hey, my suitcase! I'm on it. That guy's a thief! I really, really thought I was going to get that guy. Sorry. Hang on, still want to turn it up a little bit. It's locked. Okay. Thanks for trying. I'm Alec. Nancy. That's a nice offer, but... Why would you want to do that? It doesn't look like you work here. We got I'm some guy. Finding people who don't want to be found. Well, I won't turn down help. So you're a private eye? I'm more of a skip tracer. When someone goes off the grid, I get a call and track them down. They skip, I trace. I had some very important hmm. things that belonged to my mom in that suitcase. I really need them back. Go check into your hotel. I will find your suitcase. Nancy's audio is like quieter than everybody else's. But maybe that's just bothering me. Ooh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Foiled again. Nancy, glad you made it. I'm your cathedral contact, Ewan. There is a case file in your room. Read it. Memorize. This accent? Fantastic. That's your playbook. It'll keep you alive. I've got a bit of housekeeping to do. Get settled. I'll call you when I'm ready. Yeah, I don't know if that's a real accent. I don't know if it is. 
I, I don't know if that that's the truth, Ellen. Honestly. Well, anyways, let's hang out. Hang out in our luxury hotel. Let's jump. Let's not do that. Well, not a whole lot going on in here. Ooh, we're rich. You always got to check these things. Oh, did I already read this? Oh, no, this is new. Miss Drew, I'm <laughs> like, I don't have to read that again, do I? Miss Drew, I must welcome you to Scotland with very unfortunate news. You have been led here under false pretenses. Oh, well, you are not here as a guest of Cathedral. You were not asked here to investigate the death of your mother by MI5. You have been lied to. Oh my gosh, Neve from Catfish is here. Neve from Catfish is about to walk through the door. Kate Drew, your mother, was a cathedral operative. Eight years ago, a small cell associ associated with a terrorist organization known as Revenant attempted to attack Glasgow. Kate was instrumental in stopping the attack, now known as the Colony Operation. We believe the organization your mother took offline has returned to full strength and is now planning to mount the attack once more. We believe you have been brought here by Revenant for reasons we do not yet fully understand. If this is overwhelming, do not worry. This is like the tarot cards all over again. We will give you access to information as needed. We are in the process of briefing your contact on the situation. He will bring you in soon. Your first priority is to locate and make contact with local reporter, Mo local reporter named Moira Chisholm. She was considered a person of interest in the first attempted attack on Scotland, but was never directly connected. She has since refused to cooperate with this organization. We will be keeping a close watch on you at all times, but this does not mean that you will be protected. Great. Please note this difference. Move forward cautiously and trust no one. Anyone who approaches you should be considered a suspect. Attached, you will find a basic brief to get you somewhat caught up on what you need to know. Brief. Cathedral, an organization, all right, definitions, an organization dedicated to the safety of Glasgow and surrounding areas. The organization acts as an intelligent outpost and reports to MI5. It is equivalent to what would be the local branch of the FBI in the U.S. Colony operation, the attempted non-lethal biological attack on Glasgow that was thwarted by cathedral operatives eight years ago. Oh, biological attack. The party responsible for the attack was never confirmed, though it was believed that Revenant was involved. Current intelligence points to signs that the operation may be restarting. The colony attack required a very specific and difficult to produce biological element. It is believed, that not but not verified, that Kate Drew found a way to destroy all records of the formula and place the individual responsible for creating it into hiding. Very little is known about this group. Revenant is believed to be behind a number of terrorist events around the globe over the course of the last few decades. Paradoxically, the same group has been linked to as many counter-terrorist activities during that same period. The aim of this group is not yet known. Alright, do not photocopy it. Can I take a picture of it? Nancy's not a great spy. Yeah, we really let bioterrorism be a plot for one of these games, and we ate it up. <laughs> Revenant and COVID confirmed. I think so. Hey, babe. The American girl. Do I know you? You do now. I'm Bridget. I'll be outside. There's something very important I need to tell you. Okay. Sorry, I was just adjusting once more. Okay. Ooh, food. Can I get that? No. Okay. Well, I guess we're out of here. Oh, whoops. 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 <laughs> whoops. 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 My God. Okay. Gee, because we're in Scotland. I know these things. G stands you for have lobby. You important to tell me? Just that I love Americans. Some people say you're ignorant, entitled slobs, but not me. I don't know if that was important. Of course it is. You've got the best cities, the yeah. best bands, Hollywood. Your star may be fading, but you're still the cool kids at the global lunch table. Teach me your ways. I'm sorry, but I'm sort of in the middle of something pretty important. I'm a little... Not an American pick me. You say that now, but... 
I mean, we do own the fish line. Fish line. Enemies. Finish line. Either way, get used to this face right here. Do you work or have hobbies or interests outside of? Hello. Do you work or go to school or what do you do? You think I'm from Glasgow? Is that okay? No, it's glorious. I'm actually from Witten. It's always been a dream of mine to live in the city. She's a city girl. And I'm sort of checking it out to see if it's for me. How can you tell I'm an American? Nancy, I think those jeans gave it away. How could you tell I'm an American? I've got a sixth sense about these things. I saw a guy on the train. I just walked up to him and said, You're from Belgium, aren't you? He wasn't, but he should have been. He just had that look. Can I follow you around for a whole lot? Oh, you that's not... You seem really nice. The nicest? Ask me, Gran. But I can't really have anyone following me. <laughs> Please, don't take it personally. No, I, I understand. Okay, well, that's not... <laughs> She's literally an American weeaboo. The first of its kind, I think. I think Europeans hate us pretty universally. Talk to you later. Let's get Bye. out of this conversation, please. It might be good to read up on the attack. <laughs> on the attack. As of as July 14th nears, many pause to remember the attack that almost devastated Glasgow nearly a decade ago. Y'all don't want to hear about 9/11. The thwarted attack, nicknamed the colon- I thought this was a secret thwarted attack. Why do we know about this? Why is this in the newspaper? I thought it was a secret. The thwarted attack, nicknamed the colony operation by the intelligence community, was intended to destabilize the governmental power of the structure of the greater Glasgow re region. The most unique feature of the attempted attack was the custom incubated virus. Custom, honey. <laughs> Designer. A formula built to sicken, but not to kill. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is a 5G conspiracy. The nation's leading epidemiologists have yet to isolate what has been referred to as the final formula. What Years later, more questions remain than answers. Authorities continue to investigate leads, hoping one day to answer the three most critical issues at stake. If a second attack is planned, when would it occur and why? All right. Anyways. Anyways. I have a really good bagpipe impersonation. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. yeah, you know. All right. Anyways, I guess we should get on out of here. What if I don't have that much money, vending machine? <laughs> Jeez, Nancy. Okay. Okay, well... Anyways. Um... Well... That's awkward. Wait! I thought I had $21. Did I buy a cookie? And put it away? Uh-oh. Oh, Madison, poor kitties. I'm sure they'll be brave. Or it'll go fine. Oh my gosh, Brady Armstrong stayed there. Yeah, I know cats are not the, the nicest about being transported. Ah, oh, dang it, I could have gotten... Dang it. Should have been looking for money on the ground. Why did you come alone? Don't you have family? Friends, surely you have a boyfriend. I do. Then why do you travel so lonely? This isn't exactly a vacation. Anyways. I need you to find someone for me. I am to please. A yeah, he's asking too many questions. Chisholm. Word is no one knows how to find her. That seems right in your wheelhouse. If I knew what the wheelhouse is, I'd agree. Yeah, very I American wheelhouses. Well, that seems useless. Or it's a baseball thing? Double useless. But yes, I'm on it. All right. Well, a Scottish person isn't going to know what baseball is, Nancy. <laughs> Scottish
Spanish people don't even know what a baseball is. <laughs> Nancy. Did that. Haven't done that. Uh, we talked to Bridget. Did that. Can't check that. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Jeez, okay, well. Yes, yeah, so I'll just... Hello? What was that? You have accepted our attention. Consider this your first test. You will find an envelope in Locker 49. Take it to the 10 Raven Club <laughs> in For moi? If you do, you will be rewarded. Here's a hint. He's so serious right now. Wouldn't you like to know more? Was that mom? Wait. Was that my mom? <laughs> Wait a minute. Or not. Wait. I wasn't paying attention to what I was supposed to do. Those things are optional. Haven't done that. Um. I wasn't listening to its instructions. So. <laughs> I absorbed nothing. So, I guess we won't be doing that. It's okay. <laughs> well, you know. I don't think the journal doesn't say. I don't know much about Scotland. The, the, the journal says, go fuck yourself, actually. Maybe listen next time. The journal doesn't say anything. So, I don't know. All right. Okay. Besides buying cookies. Oh, hello. You want to make some money? <sighs> it's then little jackalope. Cookies. The cookie order shows up down there. Make it exactly as shown if you want to get paid. The more cookies you make, the wealthier you get. So that was um, little jackalope who was like was on the marketing team for. Na for Nancy Drew, for her interactive. Sorry, the <laughs> the tips going down stresses yeah. me out. Just a little fun little cameo. Um, don't love this. Ugh. Ah! Wait, 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 wait. Huh? Eh? Okay, wait. Okay, I think I figured it out. Just making some cookies, but I don't think Nancy has the permits for this though. She's here on a tourist visa. Yes, a this can't be legal, right? <laughs> Why is tipping a thing in the UK? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. The the her interactive team doing research on the basic cultural expectations in another country. <laughs> Couldn't be them. I remember when I went to Scotland. Uh, we were so stressed about whether we were supposed to tip or not. Need to work on my cookie spotting skills. What's wrong with that one? And I think we would like still tip occasionally because we just like out of abundance of caution, you know. I don't. I guess you're not supposed to. <laughs> you know, I'm sure no one would be offended at a tip. Oh wait, I fucked it up. Oh, these are hard. I don't like. This is not my favorite um, baking mini game activity. I do have to say. And the like time aspect of it is no bueno. Got it. Yeah, it's Europe. Why do why do we I have to know? That's not for me to know. That's for someone else to know. Someone European. Bread the goop. Why does it look like that? <laughs> hey, get your own cookie. One top cookie at a time here. Alright, Nancy. Done. Oh my god, I'm rich. Okay, I'll, I'll make like one more and then I'll stop. I'll try and stop, but no guarantees. You know what? I can handle not being good at this. What? <laughs> what? I nailed that. What are you talking about? Not Nancy being like, you know what? I'm fine with you being bad at my games. I'm at peace with that. Not bad, if I do say so myself. That's true. You should just ask the service wor worker if it's appropriate to tip them. Um, I like my own anxiety. Just likes to make 
things much more complicated than it needs to be, truly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One of the lockers in here had the journal, right? Oh, no, no, no. I'm paying money each time. <laughs> um, I don't want to click on a random one until I get it. All right, well, let's... Now that I'm rich... Hey, I bud. think I found your friend. Great. Where? Fair warning. She's a hitter. She hit me. Did you provoke <laughs> her? Oh, just a what little. What is this? Why is she so important? She wrote an article I thought was pretty interesting. About hitting strangers, no doubt. I'd hit She's you. She's out in Bearston. You're you can weird. Take the train out there. Oh yeah, I I know those things are optional, so it's fine. Yeah, this is strange. Why are you here? Why are you still hanging out here? I'm a big fan of announcements. And I gotta love a shrill beep now and again. Wait for it. Huh? Who doesn't? I don't like this man. I need to kick off at a second sometimes. And I get sick of rushing over. Then, it grew on this me. This accent sounds good. I like good. watching travelers. Trying to imagine the worlds Maybe? they carry with them in their heads. And I got a thing for the crumpets here. I think I could have been a great professor of psychology, but I never could sit in a chair, now could I? I mean, Mark went to sleep, and he's sort of the closest thing to verifying a Scottish accent we have. It sounds fine. He's still weird. Have you been sending me messages? No. And the way you say that makes me think these aren't your standard messages. You could say that. If anyone is threatening you, I need to know right now. Why? Because. Common courtesy. It's I a weird game. I don't find particularly reassuring since I'm not sure who is <laughs> It does kind of sound like an right, Evermore I accent. I to ask you about that. Right now, you and I have about the same amount of information. And unless you actually Shrek, know something... Shrek, oh my gosh. Yeah? Yeah, Mark doesn't have the dedication to be later. here Goodbye. and verify whether the Scottish accent is real for me. All right. Where did he say... Moira lives in Bearsden. Okay. We don't have the fun um, transport music like Shadow at the Water's Edge. Woo! Train, 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 train. God, I love trains. <laughs> I hit you once, I'll hit you again. Are you looking for a smack? Moira? Please. I really need to talk to you. It's important. Ugh, I want to be. <laughs> Come back with some food. Oh, that accent. Are you an American? Yes. You don't know anything about Scottish food. I'll give you simple names. Get me the oatmeal parfait, turnips and potatoes, haddock, and a bit of fudge if you would. Okay. Oh my gosh. I also would yell at strangers to give me food. I don't know if that would work for me. What's an oatmeal parfait? Hello? You're in Scotland? How did you know? Oh, hi, Dad! Never mind how I know. My dad's a golf That's ball. Not the point. You're deflecting. Guilty. You don't have Guilty. to be in Scotland. Guilty. Come home right now. <laughs> Your permission? I think I'm a little too old for that. She's 65. Running headfirst into a dangerous <laughs> situation and leaving the rest of us to clean up after you. What is with you right now? Calm down. Nancy, you don't get She's it. She's 65 years old. She can you. handle herself. You could have fooled me. I'm scared. Please just come home. <laughs> Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Nancy, if I help you, I I'm can't believe you this. Right to whoever has lured you there. I can handle myself. Your mother said the same thing. Oh, let it go. My mom was killed off by a terrorist organization. Get over it. Move on. Can I have mom's notes? No. It might be helpful. I bet it would be extremely helpful, but no, you really can't. Please. Gone? Gone? Where? I shredded them. You what? Oh my god, he shredded? Remember when you picked the lock on that filing cabinet? I didn't know he Which played guitar. One? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. To my knowledge, it was just the one. I mean, which one? The only one ever? That one? I knew you were looking for her notes, so I shredded everything. So, it's all lost? No. It's all lost. How could you do that? <laughs> I thought it might be. Fuck you, Dad. What you're doing right now. 
Who Talk is to you Moira later. Chisholm? Stay away from her. My source at Cathedral wants me to find her. Cathedral? I don't know what to tell you then. I'll let you go. Talk soon. Bye. <laughs> what a weird way to end that conversation. Okay. So we needed... Oatmeal parfait, turnips, potato. Um, well, let's just Google what these things are because we have a phone. Now to get everything Moira asked for. I'm assuming. Hang on. Eh. That's Great. an oatmeal parfait. That's one of the things on her list. Now to get the rest. <laughs> it looks uh, suspicious. Where are the potatoes and turnips, though? Unless. Hang on, hang on, I'm getting a call. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> Fishing through the trash. Had we never loved Se Seikai... Oh, I'm just going to be offensive if I say that. I keep wanting to click on the menu. I mean, tablet looks like fudge. Haddock is fish. Right? I'm just going to Google kippers. That's, um, herring. Hmm. But it looks like the only fish. Is haddock and herring the same thing? Haddock versus herring. They're different. <gasps> They're different. Smokies are also fish. Ah, oh, that's right. Thank you. Smokies. Scottish. They. What are Scottish Smokies? That's Haddock. We need it? Yes. Okay. And then I think the tablet is Fudge. It just looks like Fudge. Media. I'm going to say yes. And then, yeah, I honestly, I would eat, eat this right up. But then the... Do, do, do. <laughs> Is turnip a word for something else in Scottish? Scottish? How ignorant can I sound right now? Scottish. Turnip. Nips. Neeps and taties. Hmm. From the Ten Raven Tavern. Yeah, I guess we could go there. Why not? We'll do that. There's a Scots wiki? Alright, well now I'm googling that. Scots wiki. Turnips. I'm not seeing the Scottish wiki you speak of. Turnip. Hmm, I don't know. A turnip's a turnip. Simple as that. Okay, where's the... Ten Raven? One is... Which one is the Ten Raven? Ding-a-ding. Yep, yep. This is not very helpful. I'm struggling. Eh. Gif knock, thank you. I don't want to waste these train tickets. Okay, here we are. 
Uh, what she want? I keep forgetting. She wanted turnips and potatoes. All right, the tablet's right. So I guess the coal cannon. And then where's something with turnips? Oh, neeps and tatties. Okay. I could have, I mean, I could have guessed that, but also I didn't. <laughs> I could have guessed that, but I just chose not to. Um, cause I'm nothing if not thorough in these Nancy Drew games. Okay. Neeps and tatties. That's everything. Now to Bear's Den to deliver this to Moira. Huh? Wait. It, that's not everything. Oh, did... Oh, okay. That is everything. That's so true. Okay. <laughs> so true. Okay. Nailed it. All right. I got what you wanted. Now, please... All right. I got your potatoes, lady. Her name was Kate Drew. Nancy. I had no idea. I would never have... Please come in. Oh, God. What you doing here? Just visiting. Your mother would shrug a bit whenever she was lying. Now I see it's genetic. You knew my mother? Kate Drew? We Quite knew well. that. We wrote for the Did same newspaper. I knew you too. What? There's a photo. Go on, take a look. That's me? Indeed it is. <laughs> Believe That's... it or not, I was but once your I'm not favorite a baby. person in the world. Well, mainly because I snuck you sweets when Wait, you is that my mom? Looking. I'm so sorry. I just don't remember. I guess I didn't really expect you to. You were quite small the last time I saw you. See that tea set? Uh-huh. Yeah. You'll notice the lack uh -huh. of teacups. That's because you broke every single cup. Sorry I was an accidental terror. Ha! <laughs> accidental. Please, get back here. Love the Nothing record player. Nothing accidental about it. You'd make eye contact, grin that vicious little grin you had, and smash! Oh, that's so then you'd Nancy. Laugh like it was the funniest thing in the whole world. Oh, I must have been a nightmare. Yeah, you were. Sorry? You have no idea how good it is to see you. Who so is good. That? Oh. oh. Was anyone following you? Oh. <laughs> Not that I know of. Hide. Now. What's uh, going wh on? What? No! Wait. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> um... Would you look at that? Oh. They found me. They found me. Oh. I tried so hard. It's locked. It's locked. All right, fine. Fine. <laughs> Just spinning. Spinning and panicking. Stay put and don't make a sound. No matter what you hear. What? I know. Why did they immediately come for me? Shh. There's a safe behind the breaker. Look under the teapot. Follow what you find to the safe house. <laughs> the safe house. Safe house? What's going on? If it's starting again, no one can know you're here. Ah, oh, gentlemen. You must be here to abduct me. Oh, oh she's God, getting kidnapped. Really <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all this one's wacky. All right, so, um, Moira? What are we doing here? <laughs> Anyways. Alright. I keep spacing out when people say things to me. Um, Moira was escorted away by someone I didn't see. Why didn't they write down the instructions? These notes are not helpful. This must be the number Moira referenced for the fuses. Okay. One eight five. One eight five. I need to flip the fuses to equal the number from the teapot. Okay. What's happening? <laughs> I 
Am I a spy right now? Am I being a spy? I'm so spy coded. She couldn't have just told me which ones to flip. Yes. Okay. Well. She didn't. She's not coming back, do you think? I don't know if she's. Okay. This must be for the safe house in Loch Lamond. All right. Let's go to the safe house, I baby. I'll need to open up this box. Break it. Break it. Why does she never want to break things? Oh, more. More text. Okay. M, thank you for the letters. I'm fine now. To be honest, I let the letters build up. I won't smooth that over with excuses. I know that's not that it's not your fault everything went south, but I don't think I'll be it'll be uh, I don't think it's likely jeez, I'll be returning. I'm sorry that's where I've landed, but you know why. I'm still looking for your letters in the mail, and you can look for mine in the post. Oh my god, so Scottish. If you leave the if you leave the life, I've got a room for you here. I know you won't. I regret bringing you in more than anything. Carson's fine. Still spits fire at the mention of your name. Is still a golf ball, which I'm sure will make you smile a bit. Nancy's good, like she always is. She's picked up my habit of asking strangers the exact question she shouldn't. It makes Carson nuts, but it cracks me up. Okay. Yeah, Carson's a golf ball. See? He's a golf ball. I know, it is, dare I say, a little queer-coded. Um, I do still have my notes. You'll find them at the safe house. You must know that curiosity is twisting my neurons into knots of pure agitation. That's fine. I'll let that happen. You're a monster. So, <laughs> huh? So, all right. I have to know a little. No names, okay? Just tell me about the pattern. Was I right? Has it started up again? K. Okay. All right, let me know a little. Just a date. Are they, I think she's asking Moira out on a date. Don't send anything else. M, it's not the same date, but I know this handwriting. Is it R? M, I can't come back in. I am not coming back in. God damn it. I'm retired. <laughs> M, not a word to Carson or anyone in Cathedral, but look, here's what's still weird for me. The pattern we spotted. Why was it gone for so long? Night of the wave break. Did we really hit too close to home on that one? If so, that accounts for the long silence. I mean, it's been years since we've caught anything. So did we scare them into silence for a minute there? Or did we just lose the thread at that point? I'll help you for the time being, but you've got to get another analyst on board. Okay? I've got enough of the notes in my head, but I need you to hit me with the specific dates and locations for all the events. We subscribe to three papers. You can guess which ones. Drop everything into the want ads. I'm a sucker for the Lonely Hearts ad. Give me a reason to read them. This is gay as hell. This is gay as hell. M. Cute ads. Sad, though. I know you remember what we learned in school. And then again in an interrogation training, that every joke travels with a bit of truth in its pocket. Moira, you're clearly lonely. I realize I'm the last person on earth who should give relationship advice, as I'm the benefactor of an obscene amount of what my mother called love luck. Carson dropped into my life, and that's that. I'm... Alright, rub that in her face. I'm still waiting for the other shoe to drop squarely on my nose. Luck... Luck like this is unnerving. You know what? When I approached you with this job at the paper... I hope this isn't cheap in our friendship. Oh, boo, in your eyes. But I made a project of you. You were so brutally competitive and populate your your own list of compliments. And you know what I think of you. Yeah, this is just like straight platonic friends things. Um, I set my mark on you and you on me. We became close friends, graduated, parted ways. I kept reading your work. You were still so much better with words than I could hope to be. When your article stopped appearing, I got very worried. I searched for your byline everywhere, found nothing. Then I found out why. My heart went out to you. Michael would be furious with you now, you know? He- oh god. <laughs> Not Michael. He loved you. 
And the last thing he'd ever want is for you to sit the rest of your life out. All right, I think, I think she's fine. <laughs> I helped you back on your feet because I couldn't think of a better person to do the same for me when my time to fall flat on my face came around. By the way, you were hilariously suspicious at first. Can't say I blame you. <laughs> Keep rubbing Michael in. Losing Michael was a kick to the gut. Just order her a new golf ball. And anyone who looked you in the eye could see you waiting for the next blow to land. You found your way back, got riding again, but that look you had then, you still have it today. If true love means never having to say you're sorry, then true friendship, God, means never having to break out the grease pencil. Fine, here it is one last time. He's dead. <laughs> you're not. I don't know if this is helpful, Kate. Go to his grave tomorrow and say goodbye. He loved you. And he had, if he had a voice to speak, it would beg you to stop torturing yourself. Move on with Kate Drew. Back to the numbers. I'm selling a bunch of used garden equipment in the papers of record. Tell me if you think I got it right. <laughs> He's dead. You're not. Kiss me! Oh my god, how many more of these? M, I heard you loud and clear. Drive at your own chosen speed. But the numbers... The numbers! How sure are you about that I'm right? Alright, this situation is bad. Stand by. The next letter is going to come to you via courier. Tune in to the declaration of our broth. Alright. All right, that was so much reading. So much reading. Anyways, do we rob her? We got any money in here? Oh, hello. Uh, oh, God. I don't think that's allowed. I asked very nicely at the desk and now I have your phone num number. How great is that? Um... Um, can I just say if I was a, in a foreign country and someone did this to me? Nightmare. Uh, nightmare. Ooh, I'm kind of, y'all can't see. Oh, it's way too dark to see. This is plaid, though. So it's kind of perfect. All right, well, cool. I'll learn that later. Just spinning, spinning around. Where the fuck is the door? <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, anyways, the safe house was at Loch Lamond. So much is happening. All right, I need to drink some water after all that reading. Why does she sound exactly the same? Do you even have any idea how selfish you're being right now? Nancy, is everything okay? Bess, something's going on. It's bad. Sneak down and listen. Can Wait, why does Bess have the same voice actor as normal, but Nancy has a kid voice actor? And why didn't they think that Lonnie Manella could nail the voice of kid Nancy? Lonnie can voice anything she wants to. <laughs> No, you're not doing this. Keep it down. You made me a promise. This is more important. What do you want me to tell Nancy? This is more huh? important. That, that her mom doesn't care enough about her to stay? Just leave then. Run off to Scotland. Oh, grow up, Carson. Oh, fuck you, Carson. <laughs> oh, go I'm fuck yourself, Carson. <laughs> she has voiced a child in this series before. You promise you stop sleeping with Moira. Yeah, she was Freddy in White Wolf. That's correct. She was also Luke Triton in Professor Layton, and that's also a kid character. So she can play whatever she wants. It's locked. Is it? Oh, is it? Let's see. Oh, money. Anyways. Moira's notes mention something about tuning in. Why is that dialogue so much quieter than everything else? Okay. The mixing on this game is weirdly not great, and I feel like it's a newer game, so that's strange. Um, Tune in to the Declaration of Arbroth.
Hmm. Uh, that's not what I'm thinking about. Oh, I did that. That's done. <laughs> not me getting hints for something I already did. Check. Did that. Haven't done that. Did that. Haven't done. Haven't done that. Hmm. Maybe I, I need to look around more. Read this. It's short. Okay. In August 2020. Oh, is this about the Scots Wikipedia? It was established in June. In August 2020, the wiki received scrutiny from the media for the poor quality of its Scots writing and the discovery that at least 20,000 articles had been written by an editor who did not speak the language. This attention led to the review of the wiki's contents by Scots speakers as well as editors for the wider Wikipedia community. Most of the editor's articles have been deleted, which is evident in the decrease in the total number of articles from 55,000 in 2018 to about 40,000 in 2021. The scandal... People were lying on Wikipedia? Mary, Queen of Scots. Fireplace. Plastic. Mary, Queen of Scots. Do, 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 do. R. Okay. Those are just numbers. What else is there to look at? What else we got? Fireplace. Figure out how to press these stones in the room. Ah, okay. Board. We saw that. So is this Arbroth? Is that where we're spelling that? Okay, hang on. Let me. Does that work? Then. A R B R O A B. Is that an N or an H? Um. I'll try it, but I don't think this is right. A R B. Um. Oh, yeah, this is not right. <laughs> Um. Okay. Well, <laughs> I know how to use Mom's note in the Queen. Oh, there's a note in. Oh, that. Oh, wait. Do we have to spell out plastic? I wasn't even thinking of that. Forgot about that. Okay. E. L. A and S kind of hard to tell where these line up. T I C Sick. Uh, I need to figure out the password. Oh, Lord. Oh goose, don't bark. Still have to do did that. Still have to do haven't done check. Haven't done that. Not more puzzles, that's not fair. That eh, doesn't feel like that's for me at this moment. I need to get the correct orders for the lock. Search around to see if you can s find some clues may take a while before you have access to them. Okay, so it sounds like we can't do that yet. Still have to do- can't check- can't check that off yet. Tune in to the Declaration of Arboroth. What is that? That's something. I don't remember seeing anything that's called our broth, though. Hmm. You 
she's talking about her dead husband or whatever. Is it like... No, I don't think it's like the old dial-in numbers. No, you can't look in the drawers, I don't think. Although you should. Maybe hey, there's something else. Look over here. Bunk beds! Dang it. A girl who had a crush on you in high school. That could have been such fun drama, though. Unless it was awkward. Oh my god. Too many numbers. Um... This doesn't say anything about art broth. I mean, this has numbers, sort of. Enter. Thank. Okay. The case does for more safe sets to the declaration of Arbroth. Find something that will clarify this bit of Scottish history. It's not clarified. I'll just sit here and wait for the hint to load. I don't think it's the Tartan's book. Check with Bridget. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. All right, well, can we just text her? I think a text would do. Fine. Where were you? I wasn't sure if you had a party or if you got murdered. Either way, it would have been nice to be invited. I went to spend a little time at a cabin. Nancy's we'll a really bad spy. A cabin by themselves. Shut up! Did you bring Alec? You know Alec? I know he's not into me, but now I see why. Oh, gross. Alec did not come with me. And how do you know about him anyway? I'm not here to judge. Well, there's nothing to judge. Let me check the docket. Hmm. May I refer you to the case of Tree versus no. Nancy Gross. and Alec? Tree alleges K-I-S-S. -S. Ugh, enough! Oh, fine, I believe you. I'm just jealous. I-N-G. God. Oh, God. What the meme? I would love if you were just, like, actively in the chat <laughs> documenting, live updating what your... Uh, or... I guess it's not your high school crush. The high school crushy was up to in Whole Foods. She's walking or I shouldn't assume the gender. Oh no, you said you said girl. She's walking around. She's walking around. She's buying celery. She's buying kombucha. Yeah, I can see that being awkward. What the meme? That's fair. That's valid. Can you tell me a little bit about Scotland? Just a bit then. Well, it's old, it's cold, and I like it all the same. I got a book about it. I could get it for you. It's only up in my room. Okay, well, I guess we just gotta wait. Dang it. <laughs> I thought she'd be back already. The floor, we're on seven. Are we not... Woo! Let's see. We could do ooh modern art, fun. Why can't we have Dave as our background? Tunnel. <laughs> Not the gamer setup. Um, modern art. can barely hear them. Okay, horse. I mean, none of these are the explosion, and that's what I really want. 
Yeah, my mom made a super virus for some unknown reason. And there's a bunch of lesbians and they're all being weird. They're all being weird and getting kidnapped and I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. All right. I got Give me the you book. Wanted. Here you go. Thanks. Thanks. I'll let you go. Bye. All right. Te oh my gosh, this is thick text. This game wants me to learn something. Declaration of our 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 broth. All right, thirteen twenty. We got it, boys. We got it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Fuck. <laughs> April. So. Oh, four. Team. Twenty. <laughs> You've got to be. You're joking me. Anyways. <laughs> that was the whole budget of the game, by the way. That was the whole budget. Nancy, come see me. I've put a card in your safe. Your password is your room number times the price of a servant of haggis at the deli outside the hotel. Why? Why not? All right, who's texting me? Oh, <laughs> Nancy, I made it through all right and I'm back home. The situation here is worse than I feared. If you're staying, be careful and keep your head down. She just got unkidnapped. She just got unkidnapped. Okay. Well, you know, another day in the life of Moira. Lesbians live very exciting lives. I've had vegan haggis, but I feel like conceptually that doesn't count because like what scares people about haggis is like the sheep intestine. That's good. Enhance. The Jabberwocky. I knew that was important. When did we learn about the Jabberwocky? <laughs> and remember what we used to say? If we ever need to run, beware the Jabberwock, my son. Thinking of that poem today in the colorful language. M, I'm stuck, and you're stuck listening to me think out loud. The name means something. Colony. Colony. I've looked at every colony I could think of. Maybe the name is a joke? Or maybe it's a reference to how colonists come in small numbers with superior technology and authority and they take over over or maybe it's bees maybe it's feral bees um maybe it's a way to kill the queen and keep the hive not the literal queen if there are mi5 eyes on this nobody panic it's a metaphor or would be <laughs> made more sense kate drew is not gonna kill queen elizabeth or did she? Or was or did she? When I what I keep coming back to are those events. I knew I was onto something when I started following the story at Standard. I knew I was really onto something when Cathedral was as interested as I was, but that was years back. Why haven't I figured it out yet? How many of these pages do we have to read? I have a fever. Oh god, now she is COVID. I do some of my best and worst thinking with the fever. You know that? This is either the former or the latter. Uh, okay. No clue. Why did it stop so suddenly? That's what scares me. Pretend you're the bad a bad guy for a second. You now have the the uh, <laughs> You now have this ability to make groups of unrelated strangers react in a somewhat predictable fashion. You spend years perfecting it, and then once your proof of concept is completed, you're not going to just walk away from that. Now think about this. And think about colony. The ultimate attempt at a bloodless coup. Remember when we sat in on the epidemiology report? It takes about 20% of the population to become infected at the same time to cripple a city. <sighs> oh, bye, Gasly. Good luck with your studies. I'll be, I'll be reading this block of text. <laughs> Thinking about the future uses of colony. I need to. It's my job. And I hate it. It's too terrible. Give a man a hammer, he'll build a house. Because he can. Because that same... Give that same man a sledgehammer, he'll knock the walls out of that house. Because he can't help himself. <laughs> I think her interactive um, is responsible for QAnon. <laughs> I 
I think they're directly responsible. You're snuggled up in bed, so it's like you're reading me to sleep. Oh, perfect. I knew this reminded me of something. The way Revenant acts, this is the perfect bedtime story. The way, the way they play with people. That's a typo. They way they play with people. Remember the article I wrote about Edward Bernays, the pioneer of public relationships? I know you remember, because you begged me to shut up about it. But I was stuck on it. Sigmund Freud's nephew takes everything he learns from his uncle and applies that understanding of human weakness in a very large-scale manner. Bernays knew what drives us, and he taught advertisers how to harness and redirect those drives to the highest bidder. You know that feeling you have when you need something at the store, but you can't- What are we doing here? <laughs> but you can't figure out why? That's him. What if someone wanted to harness that same power but on a larger scale? What if someone wanted to redraw the map of the world without wars? By just convincing us we need to, whatever it is we're told. I know I sound crazy. I used to think Revenant was crazy, but what if I'm right? What if they really are experimenting? A way to wage war without war would be noble if it weren't so scary at the same time. So they're trying to tell us that Revenant built a bioweapon and you get that the first time. <laughs> But they make us read like 30 pages of Kate Drew just meandering thoughts, her shower thoughts about this whole situation. And ultimately, it's Freud's fault. M, I'm running now. Put the scientists and family on a plane. Play the pipes. Read the letters as they appear from left to right. It's done. I stopped it. Until R pulls out of the city, I'm in huge danger. You are too. If they find me, you have to burn everything. Not even the agency can be trusted. Take it all offline. You'll be caught and they'll burn you. But you know you owe me this. If I'm not around to drive all the nails into Colony's coffin, you have to. At cafe you hate, leaving through the kitchen. Live or die. This is goodbye. Now it's not a mind control weapon. So the idea is they want to get people sick but not die so that they're weak enough to overthrow the local government like the glasgow government i guess that's their plan oh no wi-fi <laughs> yeah oh <laughs> that anyways oh oh that that became a fun little thing didn't it i think i'm done with this room for the moment i'm ready to exit this place all right <laughs> yeah laffy taffy right on the money we <laughs> we're overthrowing the weapon with a bio weapon fun what stuff huh how huh what I don't really know. Oh my god, Nancy. I guess I'm something of a detective. Freelance. That's the coolest! Do you have a gun? No, I god. don't. A badge? Nope. A trilby? Sorry. Hmm. You should at least have a proper trench and trilby if you're going to be in a detective game. How did you end up becoming a detective? I wish I Nancy I had a trilby. I leaving questions unanswered. Unless you're talking to me. Touché. Thank you. A trilby is like a fedora. See you around. Bye. It's like the little um, sassy hats that you see like detectives from the 1940s wearing. Check. Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Check. Haven't done that. Haven't All right. done that. What was the thing again? Um, Cabin. Mom's email. Cedral left a key card. Asked me to come check in with him. The code to the safe is... My room number times the price of a serving of haggis at the deli outside the hotel. Okay. Serving of haggis is five. Okay. Y'all got that? Five? <laughs> Nancy Drew would hit different. She actually, in the first game, does hold a gun and um, puts a gun up to the bad guy. But they changed it in the remaster of that game. Isn't that tragic? And um, it got criticism from parents because Nancy, like, breaks into a teacher's lounge and she holds a gun. And they're like, mm, this might not be the best for kids. All right, 727 times 5.
in calculator. There we go. 727 times 5. 3635. My luggage. Alec My luggage. Wait a second. Mom's stuff is missing. Did Alec take it? Oof. Oof. Means he brought this to Scotland. Money. What did you and say was the code? Oh my gosh, Nancy, again? I got it. Yeah, breaking into I accept holding a gun up to a bad bad guy, but I draw the line at breaking into a teacher's lounge. <laughs> Alright. We're in, folks. We're in what? What's that? <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. She's trying that to get service, babe. Normal. I need to take a closer look at her room. She's just trying to get self service. What are you talking about? Hmm. Hmm. I Wait. need to find a way across the courtyard. Jump, sis. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, well. Guess not, coward. So you're not a real detective. Yeah, walking would probably work, but what's a more fun way to get across? I need to use the key card Ewan gave me to activate this panel. I know. That's new. It must be part of Cathedral security. She's really Nancy explaining to me. All right, hello. Hi, Nancy. What's up? Pretty impressive, huh? Are you my Cathedral contact? My code name is Ewan, and before you ask, yeah, the sound no, is not balanced not at all. Would have chosen something better. Shadow, blizzard. This a shirt. Better word that doesn't also sound like a name you'd give a horse. He's on some forums, I think. In some in his spare time, he's on some forums. Can you look into Alec Fell for me? I. Oh, Madison, don't even. <laughs> You're not ready for how we get across the courtyard. Yeah, no, don't don't love this shirt. Don't love this. Would you? This man, would you? Oh my god, so much text. Do you know who Kate Drew was? Aye, we all do. I know she's your mom. You can call her that. So she really wasn't a reporter? She was, and was quite good. But she was also one of ours. My mom a was spy? a spy? I. <laughs> what or who was she spying on? What? She was a spy? I gave you basic clearance on the archives. There is a station set up for <laughs> he you. He is really more. small. When were they going to tell Nancy that her mom was a spy? Um. Do you have anything that could help me keep an eye on Bridget? He's dainty. Well, not as such. Unless. You're not afraid of heights now, are you? Oh, Just hell yeah. Up. Find a bow and you can use this to zip across the courtyard. It's not safe. But this game it is, is fun. ridiculous. <laughs> See, Madison was joking. <laughs> We're doing it. Is there anything you could tell me about Bridget? That girl upstairs. I ran her background on a hunch. And? Nothing. Well, that's a lie. Home collateral damage. She seems sweet. That's not true. All right. I've had enough of this. Why did my mom stop the attack? Because it was a bioweapon. What are you talking about, Nancy? My lord. This is, why th <laughs> this is the thing about the newer Nancy games is that they have to walk you. I mean, I guess you don't have to do all these dialogue options, but you can just you sit around. and have them Bye. lore dump at you for hours if you want to. And it's not necessary. All right, well, let's go shoot a crossbow across, across the courtyard. All right, we have more important things to do. It's time for a new test. Cut the lines on the trash compactor at the station, and you will be rewarded. Cut the lines on the trash compactor. I am busy. I gotta zip across a courtyard right now. Okay. Hmm. Not hmm. Hmm. What do you mean, hmm? Custom zipline arrow. Do I need a crossbow, I guess? 
I guess I can't throw it all the way over. Haven't across. done that. Get the bow that can shoot the arrow. Okay. Okay. I think I remember where the bow is, actually. Fine, we can't go just yet. Alright, Jigsaw, I'm busy. Anyways. Let's go get the arrow or bow. I know things. Alright, where's the trash compactor? Because I am here. Um I don't see it, and therefore it doesn't exist. Uh so I think we get the bow over here. Um oh my god, this is so Hunger Games like coded. A part. You don't have the thing to cut anyway, lol. You're supposed to grab the cutter while doing the last revenant. Oh, well, it's just doomed from the start. Okay, fine. I thought we were just going to cut it with our teeth. I thought Nancy was just going to go <laughs> This is fun. Anyways. Oh my gosh, this is so Hunger Games training course coded. We should be like PETA and just throw a kettlebell right into a rack and impress everyone. Let's give this a shot. Oh god. <laughs> uh. Great. I'm so good. I'm so Katniss. I'm Katniss. I am Katniss. I am the one who knocks. That's what Katniss said, I think. Oh, God. I'm gonna get a perfect 12 out of 12. Oh, God. I'm a threat. I'm a killer. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I have to beat Moira? Why can't I just take it though? You know what I mean? There must be a way to get this open. Break it. Kate's dead. She doesn't care. <laughs> Break it. How common are bagpipes in y'all's life? Like how many times have you heard bagpipes live? I mean, I must have heard them when I went to Scotland. Outside of that, I don't think I've heard them otherwise. I have to be 37? That seems high. Well, I guess if you don't, if you're not a flop and don't miss every time, maybe. How are these? Okay. Ten points. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. I like to imagine Nancy just cursing silently in this warehouse. Ten. Okay, I just need to hit one more. All right, actually, Nancy's mom wasn't that good. Yes. Actually, Nancy's mom wasn't that good at being a spy. To shoot across the courtyard. <laughs> no wonder she got taken out. <laughs> There's a guy bagpiping in Chicago. Well, that's pretty fun. All right, we don't need that. I'm a master. All right, bagpipe thing. What? She's not real. She's not a real lady. <laughs> it's fine. This is a fictional game. Anyways, I gotta go zipline. It seems like you're just here for the zipline. That's my favorite. Um, the Tim Robbins sketch. Where it's like, the guy's on The Bachelor. And he's... Like, it seems like you're not here for the right reason. You only care about going on the zipline. Stop this. Stop this right now. Be so serious. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. No, don't hum me, Nancy. I'm trying to do a job. Hmm. This seems hard. Got it. Got it. Let's fucking go. 
Nancy arm reveal. We're going. <laughs> Everyone below her just watching this happen right now. Need to be quick about this. Bridget could be back at any second. Oh my god. Okay. This is straight up weird. She's tracking my movements. This is straight up weird. Confront her about this. All right, let's let's confront our queen. All right, let's see what Bridget's up to. Okay. I oh need God. To use the McLaughlin pattern here. This puzzle sucks. Uh, do I want to do this puzzle right now? Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to beat it promptly, quickly. I might do this one later. I'll just confront confront her. Hmm. hmm. I'm just gonna zip line. Also, you can't zip line back like this. Zip lines require you to be going down. She's gonna get stuck halfway through. Okay, anyways. That's done. Haven't done that. Haven't done still have to did that. Can't check that off. Did that. Haven't done that. Haven't done haven't done that. Check. Anyways. Oh yeah, I guess it it might be part of the Yeah, I guess it could be part of the thing. Fine, I'll give you that. <laughs> Nancy's such a girl boss that she can fall up. She's a spy, she's a professional. I've been robbed! What? What happened? <laughs> okay. Someone broke into my room! Okay. What was taken? My money! Just your money? What kind of a question is that? Well, money's <laughs> Sorry, Nancy's I'm a just bad spy. To see how I can help. How long are you going to be in Glasgow? <laughs> Not long. You? I have no idea. Anyways. Talk to you later. See you later. My mom's a spy. You go talk to Moira. I'll go talk to Moira since I don't feel like doing that puzzle. Oh, maybe. Are bagpipes just very common in your region? I kind of love that. What a niche. All right there. Maybe it's just a Canada thing. Well, there's other Canadians in the chat too. Um. Oh my gosh. What's the story with your record player? Important Go question. On, take a look. I'm a novice turned tableist. <laughs> you DJ? You, you while, old hag? Mainly just party nights at the pub down the way. She gets I've down. Been branching out into deep house lately. Really? Oh, that's surprising. Ugh. I know you think you're going to stay the Drag same her. age forever, but you won't. Drag her. Where is this better? Oh, that belongs to the sweet young man who brings my meals. He's such <laughs> a dear. Even helping get her, me dig Maura. my own grave get her. in the back garden. All right, I get it. Have a seat, dearie. I'll tell you about how things used to cost less. And then I'll say something racist. Oh, and you no. won't even know what to do about it because I'm old and it just seems like a lost cause at this point. Enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a completely expected hobby. Moira. Oh, Moira. What a girl boss. She gets kidnapped, comes back, drags Nancy. She ate. All right. How was my mom involved with a colony operation? Your mom stopped it. How? Not much is known, really. The operation needed Love. three things. Someone to develop the biological agent, someone to make it in quantity, and someone to distribute it in a way that would affect the entire city. Your mom broke that chain. I don't know how. Um... Do you have anything that will help me understand what my mom was doing here? We know what she was doing here. She was a spy. Do you have anything that will help me understand what my mom was doing here and why she was involved in tracking such a dangerous <laughs> Maybe she group? asked the same At question first, like 10 times. Matter, but your mother was studying them for cathedral. She had a crazy theory. Which was... Here. Okay. Mm. Oh my god, there's so many people. How did you and my mom know each other? We were both in the same J school program. <laughs> Do you have anything? She was like some sexually charged letters? I hated her for it. The fact I made plainly clear. After graduation, Enemies I was to lovers. to see that smug face of hers ever again. Until, of course, in true Kate style, she called out of the blue to say she'd set me up with a job at the paper she'd been working at. This I don't is know so if she romantic. I my hatred for healthy competition, or what it was all about. 
Your mother had this infuriating habit of expecting the best out of people. She confused me into being nice to her. And, and then we kissed. I miss her almost as much as you must. <gasps> I I love this. Um. Why was I brought to Glasgow? They think you might be the key to the secrets Kate left behind. I'm not. You could be. Kate would never give you information that would put you in danger. But the more you love someone, the more you show your secrets, whether you mean to or not. That's why the family of a spy is never safe. Wait, my mom was a spy? Your father was fond of pointing out. <laughs> um. I don't really understand what this all means. <laughs> Explain it using again. Glasgow as their laboratory. Each <laughs> experiment was getting it again. bigger, scarier. When we were done with our research, we were staring Revenant dead in the eye. We didn't know it until we were dragged into the central office for an emergency briefing, of course. That was fun. But we did know we were looking at something terrifying. Um. Who is the silent spy? What? The message what? I got mentioned a silent spy. Ah, it's Gallo's humor. Ah. It's a take on an old book. Meaning? The only silent spy is a dead spy. Okay. Uh... What's the story with the cabin you sent me to? We're just getting all the, the lore right now. One of many. To the avoid doing puzzles. The fitted with tech for Kate and me once Colony started to heat up. No one but Kate and I knew of the location. Do not give that information out to anyone. Okay. What is Cathedral? MI5 takes care of the Empire. Cathedral takes care of Glasgow. Well, Glasgow! What happened when you were gone? I don't want to talk about it. Why not? Maybe it's personal. Did you ever <laughs> stop to think about that? <laughs> when she was kidnapped? My mom had a song she always played. Do you know anything about it? She will not, not talk about song. how she was kidnapped. It may just be sentimental, but I don't know. Doubt it. Why are people after you right now? The colony operation is restarted and they're looking to pick up where they left off. Nancy, your mother's death wasn't an accident. I know, that's what the message that led me here said. I know it wasn't an accident. Oh my God. Your father knows it wasn't an accident. The only other people who know are the people who killed her. That's <gasps> who sent you the message. <gasps> Talk to you later. All right then. <laughs> Talk to you later. Oh, hello? <laughs> You will not get free train tickets. <laughs> oh, she's just gonna go back to her iPad. Okay. No one knows. That's the whole point. No one knows. <laughs> we may never know. The phone guy is so baby girl coded. So puppy coded, dare I say. Ooh, flashback. Are you really going to go? Have a seat. No, Dad <laughs> told me you're stop. Why? Nancy, it's not like that. Are you coming back? I know, you heard some stuff between me and your dad, but you've got the wrong She's idea. She's going to get cigarettes. <laughs> then what's the right idea? You'll understand when you're older. Why is that always all you say? Trust me, if I could tell you everything <laughs> I The way would, the piano just so now, abruptly stops just each time. Now, come and sit. Let's practice. I'm sorry. I just can't. Nancy aged like 50 years from this experience. All right, well. Thank you for finding my suitcase. I hope you don't mind. I took a piece uh, of to confirm it was uh. yours. I gotta say, if you're so attached to your mom's jeans, why did you take them on an international flight? Those are mine. <laughs> Okay, okay. The Her Interactive team was kind of having some fun with the dialogue here. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Right. You look nice today, he said. <laughs> Nancy's catching some well-deserved strays, well, I would say. Let's just move on. There was a poem in my suitcase. It's missing. What are you talking about? There was nothing like that in there? Not that I saw. Oh, hi, Basement Bats. I need to know, are you really who you say you are? Why? Oh, God. That means no. It does. But I'm a friend. 
And I did save your life back there. Doesn't that buy me a bit of goodwill? Uh, agreeing to find my suitcase was nice. I'd hardly call that saving my life. I was perfectly happy in my routine. Taking jobs, making money, crumpets. Everything that could be good was good. Then I met you. Went out of my way to keep you present tense. And yeah, he's creepy. Sass. Who's creepier, though? Me? Him tell me about you. or the other guy? Until you're ready to do that, leave me alone. I'm not leaving until you tell me what's going on. Great. I enjoy your company. I don't. Okay. I'm leaving. Why not both? Why not just men suck? How about that? Um. Ah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Found out the deal with that Alec fella. Yeah? Anything interesting? No. He's harmless. Harmless? I think so. But if he's taking no. shine to you, use it to your advantage. Um. Yeah, I don't care. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Where were the train Can't building? Check that off yet. Haven't done that. More cathedrals. Okay, we can do that. We can explore around here, sure. Oh, hello. Hello. Fun. Cool. Spy gear. Spy gear. Ooh, they've got Google Glass down there. Got little cute little boots. It's locked. No. Well, okay. Guess we won't be doing that. Nancy, this is our personal portal. Woo! Kate Drew, Catherine Austin. Status, deceased. Lark is certified and requires no looking after. Harrier requests Condor be allowed restricted clearance, but briefed only as necessary. And that Kestrel was granted no clearance and was not to be briefed. Oh, Kestrel's me! I'm Kestrel. I didn't have to be reading that in small font. Oh, wait. <laughs> George. George Swift. Magpie's cousin, trusted confidant. Shows strong mechanical and engineering abilities. Okay, girl boss. And is watchlisted by a number of civilian organizations following her innovative work at the Jovic Center for Advanced Mechanical Study. Go off, women in STEM. Not this... Not this last train to Blue Moon Canyon phase. Operative is known to this and other intelligence agency. Trusted but not briefed. Extremely proficient tactician. I keep doing that. Okay. Frank Hardy. Look at this old thing. Moira! DJs. Dishonorably discharged. Details of discharge remain sealed. Records pertaining to her whereabouts are not to be requested or distributed. Yo, Hardy knows how to do war crimes. Kate's last day. Nothing is known about Kate's last day before the car crash. Following her return trip to Scotland, she quickly went off-grid to pursue, it, pursue a set of leads that remain undefined. It is believed that she was instrumental in running the colony operation offline. Alright, this looks like puzzle thing of some kind. Remnant thing of some kind. Colony operation. Okay, we already know it's a chemical weapon. We've been told that so many times. Kate Drew first appeared on the Cathedral Radar following a series of articles she wrote for the Glasgow Standard. Kate was brought on board after only one step into what is generally a multi-step process when she was given a test subject specifically trained by Cathedral to interview. As far as the applicant is, is concerned, this interview is meant to test their ability to differentiate between stated fact, stated assumption, and stated disinformation. Before the interview pro progressed beyond the control portion, Kate had discovered the hidden cameras and microphone and the true purpose of the interview. She was hired on the spot. <laughs> it is recommended that Kate eventually move into field work, though her primary position with Cathedral will be as an analyst. Kate's ability to see the patterns in large data sets, paired with her intuition, makes her an ideal asset. Her unique interaction style may make her a wild card in the field, but more often than not, her blunt approach will give her direct access to difficult subjects. I didn't have to be reading that that small. I didn't have to be doing that to my eyes. Ah! Okay. Is there anything else I should be reading? Um, let me read that. The rest we need passwords for. Track down the passwords. 
Can't check that off yet. No, can't get check that off yet. I'm a spy. My mom's a spy. Oh, okay. I love when my mom's a spy. Burn up, burn. Hmm. Still have to do. No. Still have to. Still have. Can't check. Check. Okay. Still have to do that. Just spy things. All right. I think I'm gonna end for tonight because uh, the only other thing I can think to do right now is that dreadful phone puzzle, and I want to save that for when my mind is fresh. We accomplished quite a lot today. We beat one game in an hour. And we ziplined a whole bunch in this one. So I would say that's successful. We gamed, we laughed, we goofed. All right, here, Alex. Let me save this first, my lord. Save. How is Goose doing? He's good. He's. I'll show y'all. <laughs> I'll show you how Goose is doing. Hang on, let me pivot. I don't know if y'all can see, he's like nuzzled himself <laughs> in the pillows back there. That little black loaf. Free goose cam. Here, maybe I can like... Uh, it's too dark back there to see. He's back there. He's being a good boy. He had a good day. He laughed, he cried, he screamed a lot. You know, that's kind of a day in the life of Goose. Ugh. All right, folks, I kind of have a headache from reading all that text tonight. But uh, have a good weekend, everyone. I'll see y'all next week. Take care of yourselves. Drink water. Bye.